Here's a Remix OS here, the Qualcomm booth. So you are partnering with the uh, Jai? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the bigger, uh, big trends in tablets is productivity. So the tablet is not only your entertainment device, but also is your productivity device. Millennials in particular want one device that can not only entertain them, but also they can use for their work. And they, which means that you know you know to be able to make the tablet into a two-in-one, where you have a, a top-notch keyboard that you can attach to your tablet, and when you attach the keyboard to the tablet, it becomes your productivity device. And Jide is a partner that we have, who has created Remix OS, which is essentially a skin on top of Android that enables Android tablets to become full productivity devices. So you are able to support multi-window, you're able to support full Microsoft Office, full browser capability, you're able to support a complete keyboard and three-button three, three button mouse, as well as file management system, which are all capabilities that Jide Remix OS has added to uh, Android, so that you don't miss anything in Android. It is GMS capable, compatible, so you have all the Google uh, apps and you have all the Google uh, Play Store uh, access. But in addition, you have this productivity capability when you uh, dock it to a keyboard. Yeah. Nice. So how's it been to work with Qualcomm? It's amazing. Uh, Snapdragon chipset. This is an 810 running in this prototype right here. It really brings about the full potential of what Remix OS really wanted to do. Uh, Android PCs is what we're all about. And with this collaboration, I think uh, the best thing is that that full capability is is here. A lot of people in the Android universe uh, is kind of familiar with what Remix OS can do. Again, you see that clean desktop and the taskbar on the bottom. So um, when you talk about Android PCs, first thing you hear is Android. These are all your running apps or the downloaded apps I have here in uh, the, the app drawer. Um, and then you look at the taskbar. One of the first things that I'm going to show you is file manager. Um, when you go back to PCs, a lot of your habits come up, right? You have this landscape uh, form with a keyboard attached and a mouse on the side. What you want to be able to see is a lot of the intuitive file management you're used to on PCs. Let's do something uh, really, really simple and basic. I'm going to open up my documents and I'm going to go and open up a second file manager window. And oh, I'm sorry. I think I already have that second file manager window open. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is my second file manager window. I'm going to just drag select three files, move it from one uh, file folder to another, and you're gonna, that's a very basic PC function. But uh, let's do something else. I'm going to uh, do something also very, very, very normal and common. People watch videos when they're on their computer. That's not groundbreaking. But on Android, I think this is what people mostly want to use an Android PC for. And you can just have more and more and more tabs open. This yeah, is an octa-core I mean, ARM I mean, Cortex-8 57, 53. That's right. That's so right. the performance is crazy. It's How's it going? It's been smooth and streamlined. And I think one of the best experiences for us is when we open up more and more tabs, as most people do these days, as they multitask, right? Uh, you have virtually no lag. The performance has been incredibly wonderful. And you have, and if you see how many apps I have down there, down here, I can keep going. Uh, right now I have roughly about, with the file managers, roughly about seven, uh, eight, eight windows opened up. Seven things running at the same time. And I, I would I would think this is one of the ultimate ways to actually use the Qualcomm processor to the full extent. Yes, and so it's not just you know uh, the software helping out the, so the hardware, the hardware helping out the software. It's really a collaboration of both. This is how we see Android PCs. This is definitely a form factor we're really excited about. Uh, we've seen a lot of growth in this particular space right here, the two-in-one form factors. Uh, this is a detachable here, and we're really excited about what the future of this collaboration can do. And there's uh, other Qualcomm processors, right? You want to work with all of them? Uh, yes, actually, um, this is something that uh, I, maybe it's not free for me to share right now, but we are definitely working on uh, the 8 series, and maybe a little bit of a, the, a medium tier series. Um, different markets have different needs for what their devices are. And also, the spending power is a little bit different. We do want to match what that market needs with the solutions that we provide. And all the different form factors. You have the 2-in-1, and you, uh, you do the boxes. Yes. Yeah, we've seen the Remix Mini earlier this year. We've talked about it before, I think. Uh, How many do you sell of the Remix Mini? Uh, look, Secret. Kickstarter is out there. Uh, the rest of it, uh, let's just say that that it's community... It's a huge success, no? Uh, to us, it was amazing. It kind of gave us 
a really firm foundation of our community. And we get, get this feedback from that community, and that's how we moved on to the Remix OS for PC downloads, uh, the alpha version, and here actually at the show we're also talking about on March 1st, the beta version is coming out. So. What's going to happen March 1st? Uh, the beta version of Remix OS for PC. For PC? Yes, that's right. That's so, the x86 you're talking about, right? <coughs> That's right, sorry. Um, so we went through the alpha version, we released it at CES, if you remember. Yeah. And in this month, we've got so much feedback from what these users, yeah. using as a primary device on these older laptops, really? have given us. And so we've been able to, because of that volume of feedback, been able to iterate and build the beta version. One of the key things about that is, um, now OTA support is uh, available. All the files, all the apps that you just downloaded, no longer will you have to reflash an image, but you can actually keep uh, all that data and go through OTA updates with us again. This is awesome, and uh, now it's just up to you, right? You have to sell a few hundred million of these, uh, we're, right? Uh, we're almost there. Almost you have there. to get to a big, big quantity. You yes. have to change the world. That's, that's because this is cool stuff, but you want to actually everybody actually use it. Right. Um, at the end of the day, what is the point of an operating system if it's only a, a, a niche uh, target, right? We actually want to be able to get this platform to the point where it's so easy and familiar to users that everybody, from uh, you and I, from our children, from our grandparents, we can all use it because it's just it makes sense. Is it, is it, it just free? Uh, it's always going to be it's free. free. It's free for download. It's going to be free, right. free. Free OS. Free. So how do you make money? Um, so, okay, that's going to um, happen later, right? Right. We have to first focus on the product, um, get enough users involved in what we're trying to do, and then, and then we'll move forward.